All right, we just found another cedar tree with a lot of fish on it. What we're going to do, we're going to cast this hair jig again and uh, see if we can pull a few out. So let's go do it. There's one right there. Oh, yeah. The biggest one of the day right there. Look at it. That's the biggest one of the day right there. Beautiful. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's February 18th on a Sunday, about one o'clock. As you can tell in the background, we got snow on the ground. We had a little snowstorm a couple days ago. I don't know, got two or three inches on the ground. But the ramps are clear, clean, business as usual. We can get the boat in, the lake's not froze. The crappie have been really hammering uh, the last few weeks. So what we're gonna do today, we're gonna get out a uh, different little part of the lake. Hopefully put some crappie in the boat for you. So anyway, I hope everybody enjoys this video. I love bringing these videos to you. It's gonna start getting pretty good, obviously now through the spawn. So the next two months, it's gonna be balls of the wall and uh, crappie action coming at you. Uh, bass start biting, we're gonna start catching some bass too. So uh, stay tuned for that. So in the meantime, let's go get in the Skeeter, get in the old Millennium seats, catch some crappie. First one of the day right there, but he's a small one. The old Wild Willie's Wabash birthday cake. Eighth ounce dwarf pillhead thumper jigs. 15 pound sniping braid. Art and Finesse 1000 reel and a 10 foot Edgar rod. There's another one right there. A little better one there. It's a good eater. Nice solid fish. That's a nice fish there. Might uh, get us a nice little limit today. We got a buttload of fish right there. There is tons of them down there. We just caught that one pretty decent fish, probably close to 10. So let's uh, see if we can catch some more out of this. That's pretty good size. We'll just throw in there and see what happens. Get a couple of their attention, see if we can pull a couple up. There's one right there. We followed it all up there. That's just a nice eater fish there. He's probably close to nine and a half. Maybe we'll catch some bigger ones today. Let's see. That's number two that we caught. I 
Fishing these schools this time of year is just so much fun. You can just get on a bunch of fish, have some fun, catch them. There's another one right there. It's another nine inch fish right there. They're eating this plastic pretty good right now. I'll throw that hair jig here in a minute. Mark Twain Lake crappie right now. Probably nine and a half, nine and three quarter inch. Throw him in the box, see if we can get a quick limit today and uh, see if we can catch a bigger fish. That's a nice crappie right there. Look at that one. I mean, it's just a solid 10 incher, but uh, pretty nice fish. There's a big school down here, and they're smoking it when I drop that uh, thumper jig head down there and that Wild Willie's plastic wall bash. So, here we go. Here's number three. Two fish looking at that bait right there, and uh, one was looking at it, and the other one come in behind him and actually bit it. So, fun stuff. Let's get back to it. Yep, there's another solid ten. Ten and a half inch fish right there. Actually, he's at least ten and a half. That's a beautiful fish. Got that pill head choked right there. Man. He followed it and followed it and finally committed to it. Pretty awesome. Love it. Number five. fish there. He'll eat today. Beautiful fish right there. Another nice fish out of this pile. They kind of slowed down a little bit. You know, I've caught two or three smaller fish. This was just an eater. Probably about nine and a half inch fish, but it's pretty chunky. I'm going to throw him in a box today and uh, have us some nice fresh crappie tonight for dinner. So here we go. All right, we got another group of fish right here. Gonna keep today though. He come and got it immediately. Right there. Let 
big wad down there. See if we can find some decent fish out of here. You know, the decent fish were mixed in with that group over there, so there's probably got to be some decent fish mixed in here, too. There's one right there. He feels a little better. Oh, yeah, that's a better one right there. Yeah. Nice fat one right there, boys and girls. That's what we want. Second cast out of this school. That's a solid 10 and a half inch fish right there. Beautiful. Nice. Chunky Mark Twain Lake Eater Crappie right there. Beautiful. Went back to the plastic and I uh, tried that hair jig for a while. They just wasn't wanting to hit it, but I might try with this school here and uh, see if they want the hair jig in this school. But nice fish right there. Number, I think it's number six or seven. That is. Number seven. There. That's a black crappie. I don't think we're going to flay him today. I think we're going to throw him back. better one there well, I found a nice school of fish right back here that's a nice fat probably uh, ten and three quarter ten and a half but let's measure it and see I'm just kind of curious well, let's see uh, how long he is got the little line board out here I'd say he's a little over 10. Yep, about 10 and a quarter. That is number, that's number eight in the box. Crappie right here. Oh yeah, that's a good, nice black crappie right there. He's probably pushing 11, I imagine. Beautiful crappie. Out of this school here. We'll put him on the measure board and see. Oh, he's ten and a half, ten and a half inch crappie. Nice fat black crappie right there. That's number nine. Wind is howling in here. There's another one. Doesn't feel very big though. Nice eater. Be a nine inch fish. I love casting of these crappie. He come out of there. That's a decent fish there. Oh, yeah. Another decent fish. It's a fat eater. Look at that one. It's probably a what do you think? Nine and a half? Almost 10 inch fish. That's number 10. So I'm going to switch to a, a pink Strike 3 Fishing Signature Series Dwarf Pillhead, 8th ounce. And uh, we're catching plenty on the orange. I'm just going to switch and throw the pink for a while. Well, we just caught one. We'll run it through the school. We were casting to these schools, this is what I love to do this time of year cast these schools this time of year you can there's a lot of fish in them 
you can throw your uh, jig in there and just run it through the schools and they'll bite. That's a nice, uh, nice fish right there. That's number 11. show you what I mean I didn't have the camera on I just uh, show you what I mean by casting these crappie see the schools there and I'm just gonna kind of bounce it through there and see if I can get one to come out like that one right there come out another nice fish another nice black crappie right there beautiful fish right there he had that pink we just switched that pink head from thumper jigs the dwarf head right there with the wild willies birthday cake wall bash got it choked choked right there but uh another nice crappie in these schools right here fun way to catch them in the winter time when they're stacked up uh cast to them bring your jig through there and they actually smoke it. So I watched them on the screen come out of that cedar pile and uh, just smoke it. So that's number 12. All right, we're gonna get set up on another school right here. You can see that. And I'm gonna cast to it. We're gonna get set up. And we're gonna cast this plastic right in there to them. Get this. They're about 22 foot out, so we're gonna throw it out there at about 24, 25. Right through there. There's one right there. He ate it. It's a nice eater black crappie right here another nice one solid 10 incher it's a solid fish I think it's number uh, 13 we'll count it right it's a fun way to catch fish in the winter time sit back and cast in on them and you don't have I'm using a I got a 10 foot rod you don't have to use a 10 foot rod there's another one right there fish solid eater you can use uh you know seven and a half six whatever but uh, you just use these 10 foot rods a lot here on mark twain and i'm used to it but i might come out with uh, i got a seven and a half foot edgar rod that i use for corking i might bring it out next time and uh sit out here and cast these crappie fun way to catch them through the school again there's another one I'm gonna keep him probably not that's a little smaller one let him live another day I think I just put number 13 in I'm gonna catch one more and then count them to the 13 or 14 When they're schooled up like this, it's just it's totally freaking fun. There's another one right there. He feels okay. Yep, it's another nice eater. Nice fat fish right there. Nice crappie here at Mark Twain Lake. We're casting to them with 10 foot rods, you can't beat it. Got it right at the top of the mouth there. So nice fish. We're gonna put them in the box. I think that's number 14. I'm gonna double check. It's either 13 or 14, but uh, I'm gonna double check them and uh, be right back. A 
would love to get your here's one easy thing to do when you're checking these fish i probably should have put them on a stringer but i really didn't plan on keeping any day but they're biting so good i might as well so let's count them well everybody i just counted them uh, good thing i did that was actually number 15 so always make sure you count them i thought i had 13 or 14 but i had 15 so i'm done keeping them today uh got some nice fish fun video casting in these crop in these big schools well we got our 15 fish in the box now we're just going to give you a little bonus coverage we're going to use the old dwarf strike three fishing signature series air jig from thumper jigs and uh, put it to work so enjoy the bonus footage this will be all catch and release there's one right there on the old hair jig the old thumper hair jig right there we're done catching fish just a little bonus coverage look at that right there boom on the old hair jig nice eater fish here at mark twain there's a school right there so we're gonna cast to them have some fun see how many we can catch for a little bonus coverage said we're not keeping any because we've already got our limit I'm just going to run this hair jig by the outside here. We'll probably end up catching some bigger fish now since we already put our limit in the boat. There's another one right there. Man, this is fun. That's a better fish right there. Oh yeah. Nice black crappie on the old black and silver hair jig, dwarf hair jig from Thumper Jigs right there. Right at the top of the mouth, that's what you want right there. See that? Boom, right there. Beautiful fish. Solid Mark Twain Lake crappie. Just found another cedar tree with a lot of fish on it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna cast this hair jig again and uh, see if we can pull a few out. So let's go do it. Look at that fish right there. He's got the dwarf hair jig from Thumper Jigs choked right there. Man. Beautiful fish. He's at least 12 inches. This is on the uh, little black and silver with a little bit of blue in it. Perfect size hair jig, 116 pounds. That's a beautiful fish right there. Beautiful. Let's get a quick picture and then we're going to throw him back. Pretty much the equipment, like I said earlier, is a 10-foot Edgar rod, the 15-pound sniping braid, uh, the Arden Finesse 1000 spinning reel. At the end of the line here, I had the 8-ounce uh, Strike 3 Fishing Signature Series Dwarf Pillhead, uh, pink right now. I had a orange on earlier. I don't really think the color matters right now, and I had the uh, Wabash uh, bait on from Wild Willie's OCD. And don't forget to save 10% uh, at wildwilliesocd.com by using the coupon code STRIKE310. That's STRIKE and then the number 3 and 10 and uh, save 10% on these wall bashes and, and many of the other baits he has. So, so that's going to wrap the video up. Hope everybody enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell if you already haven't done that and uh, we'll see everybody on the next video.